Hello coders, welcome to Level Up with Coding. Today I'll be discussing the problem, problem number 3100, Water Bottles 2, which is also part of Weekly Contest 391. Okay, and let's understand what the problem. Okay, so you are given two integers, right? You are given two integers, num bottles and num exchange. Num bottles represent the number of full bottles that you initially have. Okay, you have a given two integer, just two integer. One is num bottles, and one is num exchange, right? And num bottle represent the number of full water bottles. This is represent full water bottle, right? Initially, you have. In one operation, you can perform one of the following operation. And what the operations? Drink any number of water bottles and turning them into empty bottles. That means you have. nb that means number of bottles which is represent full water and in one operation you can choose an bottle okay and turn into empty bottles right you can okay you can choose an bottles and turn into empty bottles and another operation is exchange number of exchange empty bottles with one full water bottles that means you have a given number of bottles which is full okay and you can choose any number of full bottles and make them empty this is operation number 1 and operation number 2 is saying that you can choose number of exchange number of exchange these numbers of empty bottles and make them a full bottles this is operation 2 you can choose number of exchange bottle from the empty bottles and make them one full bottles okay and then and after converting the empty bottles that means number of exchange number of num of num exchange number of empty bottles into one full bottles you have to also increase the num exchange by one okay and this is given that you can't exchange multiple batches of empty bottles for the same value of num exchange that means let's consider an example assume that you have three empty bottles okay three empty bottle you have have and your num exchange are one that means you can exchange one one empty bottles with one full bottles right that that is the that is the meaning of num exchange so you have three empty bottle so you can reduce one empty bottles now empty bottles become two and now full bottles become one why because you change you can change number of exchange bottles with empty bottles and make them one full bottles now full bottles become one okay now you can't again choose one one empty bottles you can't you have to increase the number of exchange bottles by one now number of exchange bottle becomes two now again you you can choose because there is two empty bottles and you have num exchange value is 2 so you can change with empty bottles now the empty bottles become zero and you can also add one full bottles because you have changed the num of exchange bottles with empty bottles right this is clear right now okay let understand the first example what is given you have given that num bottles is 13 and num exchange is 6 okay what is given num bottles are 13 and num exchange is 6 right what i have to do you have to return maximum number of bottles you can drink right maximum number of bottle you can drink okay that means what are the number of bottles you can uh, you can drink okay that means you have if you have one full bottles then you can drink one bottles right that mean what is the now what is the total number of full bottle you can you can achieve from from the given value okay this is the problem what is the uh, what is the number of full bottle you can achieve okay from this given value so i have seen what is the total number of full bottles there is given 13 so can i say can i say 13 13 bottles i can i can i can drink 13 bottles 
because this is already given that there is 13 pool bottles right so i can drink 13 bottles okay and whenever i drink a bottles it becomes empty that means after drinking 13 bottles what is the empty bottles value that means how how many bottles are empty right now the empty bottles are now become certain yes or no because i have given full bottles are 13 and i drink the, all the water in the full bottles right now what is the number of empty bottles 13 right but what is the operation number two you can exchange now exchange empty bottle with one full bottle that means how many empty bottles you have you have 13 empty bottles and what is the norm exchange value norm exchange value is 6 so you can say that i will exchange 6 empty bottles and i can convert one full bottles okay that means you can say that my empty bottles right now 7 and my full bottles become plus 1 why the problem is given that you can you can exchange with number of exchange bottle with empty bottles and it becomes a full bottles okay that means you can achieve a full bottles with exchanging number of exchange bottle from the empty bottles okay this makes sense right okay now what is the what is the remaining empty bottle 7 but whenever you perform an exchange operation you have to increase the num exchange value by 1 because it is mentioned in problem increase num exchange by 1 after performing the operation you have to increase the num exchange by 1 so what is the value of num exchange right now the num exchange value is right now 7 but what is the number of empty bottle 7 so you can exchange 7 with 7 that means you can again exchange 7 empty bottles okay with one full water bottles that means now my empty bottles become 0 and from that operation I can achieve another one I can achieve another one right full bottles now what is the total number of full bottle I can achieve because I can't achieve any bottles right now because my empty bottles are 0 my num exchange are 7 and after performing this operation now my num exchange are becomes 8 because after performing one exchange operation you have to increase the num exchange now it is become 8 and my empty bottles are 0 so we can't perform any operations ok so what is the total number of bottle you have right now this is 13 plus 1 plus 1 what is the value 15 ok so you can drink at most 15 bottles from ok now see what is the output the output is 15 the output is 15 ok so you can drink at most 15 bottles from 13 full bottles and the exchange value of the num exchange value is 6 ok and let understand the second example then we move to the approach right now in the second example what is the total full bottles given 10 and what is the num exchange value 3 that means you have given that initially you have 13 full water bottles and 3 is the num exchange value that means you can exchange 3 empty water with 1 full water bottles right ok so firstly you can say that I have 13 full bottles I can drink yes you can uh, sorry uh, um, the value is 10 ok not 13 right the value is 10 you have 10 full bottles right so you can say that you can drink 10 full bottles that means the total value that means the total number of bottles full bottles you can drink it 10 initially you can drink all the full bottles which is the which is filled in the water and you have given that this value is 10 so after drinking the 10 bottles what is the empty bottles value the empty bottles become 10 because you have drink 10 bottles right now ok now empty bottles value becomes 10 empty bottle becomes value 10 ok but in operation 2 it is mentioned that you can exchange num exchange value with empty bottles and you can achieve one one full bottles right one full bottles ok 
सो वॉट इज़ द वैल्यू ऑफ नाम एक्सचेंज द नाम एक्सचेंज वैल्यू इज थ्री एंड वॉट इज़ द वैल्यू ऑफ एम टी वोटल स्ट्रेन सो यू कैन से दैट आई कैन एक्सचेंज विथ एक्सचेंज वैल्यू नाउ माई एम टी बटल्स बिकम सेवन एंड माई नाम एक्सचेंज बिकम फोर बिकॉज आफ्टर परफॉर्मिंग द ऑपरेशन यू हैव टू इंक्रीज बाई वन बट नाउ द फुल बटल्स बिकम वन द फुल बटल्स बिकम वन वाई बिकॉज आफ्टर परफॉर्मिंग दिस ऑपरेशन एक्सचेंजिंग नाम एक्सचेंज वैल्यू विथ एम टी बटल्स वैल्यू ओके यू कैन अचीव वन फुल बटल्स वन फुल बटल्स बट वेन एवर यू यू ड्रिंक दिस बटल्स राइट वेन एवर यू ड्रिंक्स दिस बटल्स इट्स बिकम प्लस वन बिकॉज दिस इज द फुल वाटर बॉटल्स यू कैन अचीव एंड यू ड्रिंक दैट मीन्स यू कैन ड्रिंक ओके सो यू कैन से दैट आई आई विल आई कैन ऑल्सो ड्रिंक वन बॉटल्स बट वेन एवर यू ड्रिंक दिस वन बॉटल द बॉटल्स बिकम एम टी राइट राइट ना दिस बॉटल्स बिकम एम टी सो यू कैन से आई कैन प्लस वन द एम टी बॉटल्स वैल्यू वाई बिकॉज यू हैव एम टी बॉटल्स टेन and you have exchange value 3 and after performing the exchange the empty value becomes 7 and the exchange value become 4 because you have to increase the exchange value by 1 and from that operation you achieve one full bottle but whenever you drink the that bottles okay this bo- bo- this bottles also become empty so i can say that i can add a one in my empty bottles and one in my answer because if i achieve in one full bottle i i if i want to maximize the total number of bottles i can drink i always add my add my result right because if there is full bottles i always i always drink right now what is the value of nam exchange the nam exchange value is 4 what is the value of empty bottles this is 8 right now the empty bottles value are 8 and what is the total bottles i have that means what is the total numbers of bottle i have already drink the total is 10 plus 1 because i have initially drink 10 then again i achieve one bottles from the exchanging and i also drink that one now can we exchange the bottle again yes we can exchange because the empty bottles are 8 and exchange value is 4 so after exchanging this value becomes Four, we can achieve four numbers of empty bottles, and nam exchange value will be now five, because we have to increase nam exchange by one. Now from that, from that operation, I can achieve one full bottles, right? But whenever I achieve one full bottles, I can say I will drink the bottles. If I drink the water, now it's plus one in my total. but whenever i drink the bottle it becomes also empty so i can say i will also also add in my empty bottles number so the empty bottles are become 5 right so what is the total numbers of empty bottles right now this is the empty bottles what is the nam exchange value nam exchange value are right now 5 this is the nam exchange value right okay and what is the total i have 10 plus 1 plus 1 okay no problem now can i exchange again yes what is the nam exchange value 5 what is the empty value 5 i can exchange so the empty value becomes 5 minus 5 because i am exchanging 5 bottles with 5 empty bottles now it becomes 0 and my nam exchange become 6 because previously it was 5 and after exchanging it increased by 1 now my nam exchange value is 6 okay nam exchange value is 6 and from this operation i can achieve one full water bottles but whenever i achieve one full water bottles i always add my answer but if i add my answer that means if i drink the water okay now my total will be plus 1 my total will be plus 1 right and whenever i drink the water my empty bottles become also plus one because i have already i have one full bottles i have drink that means it also become empty 
So what is the total numbers of empty bottles I have? One, because previously it was zero, and after drinking the water, it's become one. That means from this op operation, I had one one full water bottles, and I drink water, so I will add in my total. Okay, and as I drink the water, this becomes the bottles also become empty. So I will add in my empty bottles number also. So what is the total number of empty bottles right now? The total number of empty bottles right now is one. This is the empty bottles number. But what is the num exchange value right now? The num exchange value is right now six. So can we exchange right now? No, we can't. We can't exchange because num exchange value is six. We can exchange six, 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 but empty bottles to achieve one full water bottles. But I have only one empty bottles right now. I can't exchange with six. So what is the total numbers of water bottles I have drink? This is ten plus one plus one plus one. So what is the value? Thirteen. Right. Now see, the output is also thirteen. I think the question is clear right now. Okay. Let's uh, discuss about the approach. What will be the approach? Okay. For that question. Now, what we have to do? You have a given a total number of full bottles. Let assume it is this is x, and you have also given num exchange value. Let assume this is y. So, what do you have to do? We can say that the number of full water bottle we have given. This is the number of bottles I can initially drink because this is full. I can I can drink the waters from that bottle. So, what is the total value in initially? The total value will be x, because I have given x bottles, I have given x full bottles. I can I can drink the x full bottles. Okay. Now, after drinking the bottles, my empty empty bottles become x. Right, because I have given x bottles, I have drink all the waters of the bottle. The water becomes empty, and I have also given num exchange value, and It is mentioned that in on operation, we can exchange with empty bottles value with num exchange value, right? So it is said that I can exchange with y empty bottles from the x x empty bottles, and I can achieve full bottles. Okay, this is the problem. Okay, uh, let understand uh, how we will approach. Okay, so it is simple that it is simple, right? So let's take the second example where number of bottles are ten. And num exchange value is three. So, can I say that number of bottles which is given already, this is the total number of bottle I can I can drink. But after after drinking the water, my empty empty bottles become the number of bottles given. Okay. And I have also mentioned that I can exchange num exchange value. From empty bottles. That means I can exchange now three empty bottles from the ten empty bottles, and I can achieve one full water bottles. But whenever I achieve one full water bottles, okay, my empty bottles become right now seven. As I achieve one full water bottle, I can say I can drink the water. So the total number will be plus one. As I drink the water in the in bottles. Which I have achieved from this operation, so I can say the bottles is right now empty because I have drink, and after drinking I adding in my total, so I can say my empties bottles is now becoming, and this operation I can perform until this condition is satisfied. What is the condition that my num exchange value is less than equal to my empty bottles value? I can perform this operation. Okay. And one one another case. Whenever I exchange a bottle, I have to increase the num exchange by one. So this is become four right now. So I have to continue this operation. Okay. Let understand the code first. Whenever we understand the code, it will be clear right now. For whatever I am saying. Okay. This concept will be clear in code. I think the problem is simple, right? So let's go to the code editor. Okay. So what is given? I have given num bottles and num exchange. Okay, so can I say 
that my total drink or total drink bottles my total drink bottles is my num bottles because initially i have given num bottles so i can say i can drink the water but whenever i drink the waters my empty bottles become my num bottles isn't my empty bottles become num bottles because uh, the bottles which is full okay i have drink so i will i am adding in my total drink bottles okay and as i drink the all the bottles which is given so my empty bottles become the the bottles which is given and i have also given the num exchange and i have a condition that i can exchange num exchange empty bottles with one full water bottle okay and then increase num exchange by one and what i have said that i'll go until my empty bottles greater than num exchange why because if my empty bottles is greater than equal to right if it is greater than equal to so i can exchange i can exchange the num exchange number of empty bottles with one full water bottle okay so if my num if the empty bottles is greater than equal to num exchange bottle so i can say that total drink bottles total drinks bottles will be increased by one because i have achieved one extra bottles right one extra bottles full bottles i have achieved but whenever i achieve one extra bottles i have to increase also num exchange because i it is mentioned that whenever you perform this operation we have to exchange we have to increase the num exchange value by one so num exchange value now becomes plus one okay this is plus plus but as i mentioned that that whenever i performing an operation right now if there is three three num exchange value is three and i have ten bottles empty bottles so if i exchange with the num na the num exchange value with empty bottles my empty bottles right now what is the my empty bottles the empty bottles i have and the ex, and the value of num exchange so this is become seven okay but after performing the operation i achieved a full water bottles as i achieved a full water bottles i i can drink the water bottles so i adding this is total so total will be plus plus total will be increased by 1 but one another case as i achieve one full water bottles and i drink the water now it's become also empty so my empty value also become plus 1 and i will continue this operation until until my num exchange value is less than equal to empty water bottle empty water bottle right so this is a so i will do that task, okay so after that i can say that my empty bottles become my empty bottles big minus equal to num exchange because this will reduce all right because i am exchanging my empty bottles with one full water bottle okay so as i mentioned as i am drink the water which i achieved so i have to also increase my empty bottles so empty bottles also become plus plus why because i have achieved one bottles and i drink the water so i have added in my drink bottles so the bottles we have achieved this is also empty okay and i continue this operation while my num exchange value is less than equal to the empty bottles i have okay and after that i will just return num i'll just return total drink bottles i'll just return total drink bottles okay makes sense right so let's submit the solution it's give me wrong answer right so why why it's give wrong answer 
there is a mistake because before before reducing the number of bottles i have exchanging i have increasing the number of exchange so this is will be after reducing my empty bottles right because if i have three bottles i have to reduce three then i have i can say that my num exchange become four if i if i increase the num exchange value before so the reducing will be more right so that's why this is give wrong answer so i think now this will give correct answer okay okay and it's give correct answer and let's submit yeah it beats 100% okay it beat 100% so what is the time complexity the time complexity is big of n right why big of n so i can perform in host case it may happen that i perform n operation because i have numbers of exchange bottles uh, i have number of bottles and number of exchange and performing the operation uh, with a loop only one loop iterating and always reducing some value so the time complexity is will be order of n and space complexity will be order of 1 as i am using not any extra space right so the space complexity will be order of 1 in case you liked our video make sure you subscribe and share with your friend and stay connected with us thank you